It's like they want to get hit. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. Police are investigating a burglary at an Adams convenience store over the weekend. Corky's Corner in Adams was broken into sometime between about 10 p.m. Saturday and 5 a.m. Sunday, according to Maurer County Sheriff Therese Amazai. Amazai said an unknown amount of cigarette cartons were taken, including single packs of cigarettes as well. The suspects are still at large, and an investigation is underway. And in other news, three men took their magical journey across the country to Austin Sunday. Eddie Bond, Michael Nelson, and Eli Leppin set out March 7th to walk across the continental United States. On Sunday, their path took them to Austin, where a trip to the Spam Museum was a must for the Hawaii natives. Bond said the trip is a dream come true, and they're hoping to inspire people to follow their dreams. Well, let's take it out to Daily Herald reporter Matt Peterson with today's Weather on the Roof. Matt, what's it looking like outside? We've got great weather today, uh, mostly sunny at the high of 81 degrees. Tonight will be clear. Tomorrow looks just as good with sunny skies and 82 degree highs. Uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday morning could get a little bit stormy, however. Uh, things should clear up by Wednesday afternoon, and we won't see storms coming back until the weekend. So we'll have to see what uh, Thursday and Friday brings before that. Let's take it back inside to you, Trey. Thanks, Matt. The 2011 Maurer County Fair was a bit of a comeback story. More than 80,000 people attended the fair this year, according to fair organizers, who said good weather was a factor in the attendance uptick. The rebound in foot traffic came after hot, humid weather kept people from attending in 2010. And finally, a bronze surfer statue near San Diego that's been the target of many gags has been hit again. Unknown pre-dawn pranksters on Saturday constructed an elaborate scene of a pterodactyl seemingly about to pluck the sculpture of a young surfer off his board. The pranksters placed a painted backdrop of a volcanic eruption behind the surfer statue as well. The $120,000 sculpture, called the Magic Carpet Ride, has been derided by local surfers who criticize the boy's pose as too awkward. Well, that's it for today's top headlines. For more news about your community, your town, as well as a story about Austin's lovable canines at the Austin Municipal Pool Sunday night, please go to austindailyherald.com. For the Daily Herald, I'm Trey Muse saying that's the way it is today.